All right, if you are in the market for a travel trailer, it's hard to get past Keystone without thinking about how long they've been in the industry developing some of the best travel trailers. In fact, the Hideout has 24 different models for you to choose from, and that's because the Hideout is one of their most popular brands. So instead of recreating it, they just keep coming up with new models because it is one of their best-selling travel trailers. So why not bring in the director of marketing, Christy Spencer, Hi, who is Mike. a good friend. <laughs> We've been doing this for a long time, and I always share the story about my first travel trailer being a Keystone Cougar. We've all heard it. Um, but it is what really brought me into the RV industry. Now, fast forward to 2024. You've got a variety of cool hideout models for consumers to take a look at. Let's go inside and take a look at what this is all about. We'll follow you inside, Christy. So what we immediately look at when we come inside is like our eyes are like drawn to this big open. It's, like, it's bigger than a bunk area. It's huge. And, and you know, forever we, um, we have bunk rooms that are private and those have their place and they're great. But as kids get older, they get a little bit bigger and they need more space and you're camping to be with your family. So by opening up those bunk rooms, you, you open up this floor plan to lots and lots of possibilities. One thing, and we'll just come back here so you can take a closer look. One thing we always talk about, and I, I have, I've had this conversation with you for a long time because when I first, it was introduced into you at the Keystone team, my kids were little and now my son is pushing six feet and so it's very hard to find a travel trailer that will fit kids in their teen years and so if you were to lay across diagonally here you could be six foot plus and still fit in this area and it is open by the way down below is a rear hatch for storage so you have easy access to bring things in let's say you're at the beach and you want to store some stuff under, you have the ability to do that as well. And then Christy, walk us through what we're looking at. I'm going to make you show one more thing. Okay, can do you, it. Can you show um, everybody how you get into the those steps? Bumps? <laughs> Look at the steps. They're right here. So I'm what? doing it. I'm doing it. And I said six feet tall. Look at this. Six feet tall. You did it. I fit. I totally fit on the inside. <laughs> you have steps on both sides. So you have the steps on that side and you have the steps on this side. So you have easy access getting in and out of this bed area. Yep. I love it. Steps and storage. Steps and storage. So that, that's just a really unique queen over queen. We love it. There's a pass-through door down below. I don't know if you can see that. So there's pass-through storage underneath. And um, yeah, I just, I'm in love with this. But that doesn't, it doesn't stop there. It does not. Because up in this part of the coach, we have this gorgeous banquette which can also um, convert to a bed, and it's really comfortable. We had one of our photographers crashed out on here for open house. Again, I can fit in this. Yeah, it's huge. Functional space. Massive. The, the cushions come off the back, the table goes down, you've got a great big lounge, so it's wonderful, wonderful popcorn night. This can also um, fold out. It's a trifold sofa. So you could sleep one, two. We actually did a video, and I think you guys. How many sleep. people? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Easy, ten just like that. Inside this hideout. In a forty thousand dollar travel trailer. And that's, that's what amazing. makes it. That's what makes it cool. Refrigerator. Everything's twelve volt, so it can run on solar. Um, most of our RVs are equipped with some form of solar flex. Solar flex two hundred. We'll put everything on on. Um, Every, all of your 12 volt systems will run off your batteries, lights, fridge. So if you're traveling and you want to put groceries in the fridge and keep them cold to the campsite, you can do that. Three burner top here, microwave up top. Yep. Look at this little guy. This is where my pizzas are getting done at <laughs> night. Maybe a little lasagna, the one or the other. The hideout product manager did a really nice job at looking at how he built his uh, drawers and doors. So the, he, he measured each shelf height to fit a cereal box. So every sh every detail of this RV has been thought out to be Maxi's cereal mode. box. Interesting. Isn't that great? I love it. Deep farmhouse sink in here. Again, a lot of flexibility. Um, I want to point this out because this is actually something that I always think about when I'm camping in a camp spot. And my wife is working in here, or I'm working in here. Hey, can you hand me the whatever? Right? You're all. It's. You just put it here, somebody can easily step inside and grab what they need, or your keys go here. Yep. I love when you have functional top space because that's that's a premium in an RV, and you, this is just great functional area. Really usable, and you have shoe storage underneath. I like that. Yeah. Shoe storage. Super easy. All right, we make our way to the bathroom. Mic test in the shower. Do I fit? The answer is yes. Plenty enough space in here. I don't like spending a lot of time in the bathroom. I like going into the master bedroom. I like spending time in the entertaining area. Let's take a look in there and see what else this hideout has to offer. Christy, what 
Tell us about the master suite. So the master suite is, you know, a relatively standard front bedroom for travel trailers. It's a nice queen size bed. We've been putting these shelves over overhead for extra storage, and we're seeing a lot of people put bins and things on top. So that's just a really nice feature. Um, there's a laundry hamper next to you, and then also your um, your removable shelves with hanging rods if you want them, and a really nice size wardrobe with deep, deep shelves. All right. Price you mentioned was about forty thousand dollars. Right. Where do consumers go to learn more about these? I'm so glad you asked. You can find this and all the hideout models at KeystoneRV.com. We've got a really nice uh, filtering tool on our website too. So if you're looking for something specific, like a bunk house or a couple's coach or an outdoor kitchen, you can filter and just find just those models. It's pretty slick. Thanks, Christy Spencer. I'm happy all to right. be here. Hope y'all enjoyed this review of the 2024 Keystone Hideout. Check it out.